Legislation, Council Bill 1 2020, introduced by Liz Walsh. An act altering the number of consecutive years a project or phase of a project must be retested if a project fails one or more components of the school capacity test of the Adequate Public Facilities Act of Howard County. I move to approve Council Bill 1 2020. Second. I move to approve Amendment Number 1 to Council Bill 1 2020. Second. This amendment provides that if the projected enrollment of a school which will serve a proposed project exceeds by five or more percentage points the maximum enrollment defined as open, this is very loquacious, the project or phase shall be retested until it passes the school capacity test up until the seventh year at which time it shall be deemed to have passed the school capacity test. Should I just introduce all three amendments maybe? Well, let's ask if there's any discussion first on amendment number one to Council Bill 1 2020. Madam Chair, I was going to move yes. to table this bill, but I don't want to interrupt discussing the amendment. I don't Would know be that the proper that, way to do that. that do we have to rule the, on the amendment first? There's motions on the table. Right. Yes. Okay, so I'll wait between. You could wind backwards. But. Mm -mm. So um, a motion to table can be heard when it's made as long as it's seconded. Mm -hmm. it, it takes supersedence over the pending question. I move to table. CB1. Second. Is there any discussion? We can't discuss it. Yeah, yeah it, you just go straight to a vote, and then if you want to explain your vote as you're making it, you can do that as you're okay. casting it. Ms. Schwartz-Jones, can you call the vote on the motion to table CB1? Okay. Ms. Young? No. Dr. Jones? Yes. Ms. Rigby? Yes. I think there's a lot to still parse through, and if we have unanswered questions about scooters, we certain have, certainly have unanswered questions about long-ranging fiscal policy. I knew scooters was going to come in somehow. <laughs> Ms. Walsh? Uh, Cub Scout 944, you wanted to know what was a crazy law in our books? I will tell you. In this county, we have laws in the books that say you can't build into new, you can't build new projects into schools where you're already capacity. And that means when you have trailers out on the playground, it means when you have too many kids in the cafeteria, it means when you start eating lunch at 1030 in the morning. But what was proposed in CB1 that my colleagues wish to table tonight would have given our school system just a little bit more time to catch up to our ever-growing student population. I think the AFO books on the law, on the books right now, are, are crazy. That would be my nominee for Mr. Youngman to pass on to you. I vote no. Um, since I made the motion to table, um, I've really been struggling with this one, and I still am. Um, we had one hour of work session on this. Um, a lot of the information we don't have isn't even post redistricting. Um, I, I, I just, I need another work session in public for us to have a robust public discussion on this um, to feel comfortable with what we're gonna do because it's, it's got some pretty serious implications one way or the other. So I vote in favor of tabling, yes. CB1 is tabled.